Hey guys, there's a reason why I call this help me, I fell over and can't get up. And it is good news, okay? So I'm going to kind of dive into it. i got a couple scriptures to back it up. God wants us to fall, guys. To set us free. Because we can't enter in it with all this sin that's been separating us from Him. Okay? So I'm going to dive into a couple scriptures and just kind of weed through this. I am going to try to really hard to try to start making these shorter I can do more of them actually um, let's go to John 12 14 except that corn or except that grain of wheat falls into the ground and dies it abides alone if it doesn't die but if it dies it produces much fruit, grain, wheat. <clears throat> produces much wheat is what it says, I think. Sorry, I should have wrote it down better. So he wants us to fall, guys. Because sometimes it's trials, sometimes it's tests, sometimes it's stripping away, sometimes it's cleansing, purification. There's a lot to it, guys. It's not to hurt us. Let's go to this other scripture, and I'm going to kind of go back and forth. The stone that the builders rejected. Who was that? Who was the chief cornerstone? That would be Jesus. Matthew 21, 42 through 44. But then, it says it would be given unto another nation. But he that falls on that stone is going to set you free. But if not, it's going to grind you to powder. It's time to, that's why it says, learn of me. That's why I want you to use the Word. That's why God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word are so important. All into the hands of a loving God. Just let go. Let it go and watch it grow. He wants us to stumble to keep us and to get us humble. That's why, that's why 2 Chronicles 7, 14 Turn from your wicked ways. That doesn't sound good. None of that does. My people are called by my name. Humble themselves. Pray. Seek my face. Turn from our wicked ways. What's he talking about? It's kind of why I put that in there about the political. Time is holy even in the political. Guys, I, some of these people, I, I don't want an office anymore, honestly. And neither does God. I think he's the governor of New York, but man, that guy's doing a lot of, a lot of damage here, guys. We're living in there, a lot of ungodly laws because of Pat, and it wasn't just the president, Congress approved him too, but we're living under a lot of, a lot of bondage and sin, and and people are becoming angry over it because we just sat on our behinds in the church. He wants us to fall. But it's to purify us. That's why the storm's coming, guys. I don't like that. I'm just directional. I don't want to put a date on it. I don't want to try to be famous. I'm not. Look at this video, guys. Do I look like I want to be famous? It's just me. Ugly me, kind of. Not ugly, but not beautiful either. Just me. My picture. I don't have all the tools that I kind of need to do this stuff, but maybe I don't need it. It's the content. It's kind of like a test, guys. You know, when you're in school, you know, God wants to give you an A for acceptance, not an F because you failed. When you fail, you get a do-over. It keeps, it keeps coming up till you, till you pass. 
He wants this stuff out of us. We all got storms. I'm going through a couple storms right now. Northern one. Some created by others. Some self-inflicted that I created 100%. Ugly. Very ugly. Seen, unseen. Some created by the enemy. As traps. Delusion, you know. When we fall and die, then he can use us. I suppose the other one was just recently was use what you got. Okay, so silver and gold have I none, but such as I have I give unto thee. And they used what they had. Okay. All down throughout the Bible. David, the five smooth stones, Jesus, the cross. Greatest redemption of mankind. Used what he had, you know? Why would he think it's great joy? And I don't think so. Me? Uh-uh. No. <clears throat> so, he used Peter in a mighty way. One minute Peter's got the revelation of who Jesus Christ really is, Son of the Living God. In the very next few scriptures, he's the devil's being called out and rebuked because he was listening to him. He was manifesting Satan. But he still used him in such a mighty way once he got that out of him. Pride comes before a fall. Guys, we all can get it, okay? I'm not wishing a fall upon anybody. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not wishing destruction. And I heard a lot. I've heard that different places, you know, and I've seen people claim to be, maybe they are. Prophets, and if you don't agree with them, man, they're going to burn your hide on the way out the door. Maybe, but that's left up to God, not up to us. Honestly, we're not that important. We're very important because we're sons of the living God. We're sons of the King. But he's not giving us that authority. To destroy people. Oh yeah, I know. You're going to quote a few scriptures and some that did. The vast majority of us know. Honestly, no. So, he wants us to fall, guys. So that he can cleanse us and make us pure. Recently, not real recently, maybe a year or so ago, somebody that I loved dearly, wasn't what they said, it was what they didn't say, and then what the Lord told me. And it really hurt. I went away, and for a couple of days, honestly, I was, first, you know, I'm, I'm just going to be brutally honest. First, I prayed, and then I'm going to just leave it God's hands. That's an easy, can answer. I didn't. It's complaining to God, kind of. Why don't they see it like I see it? Well, maybe that's not God's will. Finally, he spoke to me and he said, He's not your son. He's my son. I know I had to leave it alone in God's hands. And I did. <clears throat> he, wa he wants us... To fall so we don't fail. So we don't lose our souls. So we don't spend eternity separated from Him. Because it's got to go away, guys. It's a personal one-on-one. -on -one. He wants to go to those, you know. Uh, the One of my trials is, I knew it was there, but I didn't. I thought it was dealt with years ago, but it wasn't. But it was a dark spot in my heart. And I wouldn't let anybody in. 
I wouldn't go in. Jesus couldn't go in. Hidden, but it wasn't hidden. It was there. I could see it. Knew it was there. It's part of the trial I'm going through, honestly, of it. And it's like, okay, God. Realizing that it was my, it was me. So that's why I said some of them are self-inflicted. Hurts a little bit, guys. It hurts a lot. So many other ones are others and outside influences, and some demonic too. Honestly, <clears throat> but it's like, okay, God. Some of them are, you know, but he wants us to fall and to fall short. But to fall in our, that's why he said that my name, the sound of my name, it's every knee will bow. Wants us to weep between the porch and the altar. There is a storm coming, guys, and that's part of, I'm gonna end with this, that's part of what he told me. It was 8-11, it, it was August 11th is what he said in the dream, August 11th to September 11th. <clears throat> but the dates are 8-11 to 9-11. <clears throat> so I put that down on there, I put that out there, I don't wanna do it because of the sensationalism, I'm not, that's not me. It's actually against one of my messages. One of my messages against what's going on. But he said first it was going to come to me and my wife. And this was before this was before August 11th. It was a couple weeks before. And all hell broke loose. And I thought it was over with. And then even more hell. And then more hell. And more hell. And, and self. Ugly. I'm going to end with this, guys. I've, I don't know why I'm saying this, but I've seen pictures, and probably maybe you have too, I'm just saying. Um, kids, some kids are cute when they're babies, some are ugly. Some people, are, but the parents all think their kids are so beautiful, and they're like, man, that's an ugly baby. We all have them, guys. Some ugly babies here that we think are cute and cuddly. And they're not. Part of the deception that the enemy has got against us, that's the Isaiah 27, 1. A lot of twisted up stuff. So, some in our own mind, guys. There's so much to it, guys, that I can share, but really he wants us to fall. So he can pick us back up. I will end with this. I, this is a dumb saying because that's why I got it from kind of, but now it came from the Lord, but he redirected it. But I used to say this back when I was in my 40s. It was just this, this business that I had to haul a lot of stuff. A lot of it was stuff that I just take and sell and resell. And it was just a lot of stuff. Trailer, trailer full of stuff. Start the day at 7 in the morning and then at 10 o'clock at night. I haul and move and just trailers full of couches and just household things and just stuff, junk, a lot of it. But I was always in the trailer moving stuff. I'm saying it to people, hey, help me. I fell over and can't get up. It's hot, tired, kind of felt like that, laughing about it. Now it's happened. This, these are, some of these are in the spiritual, but it even happened in the natural to me recently. I mean, I look at my, Message broken and contrite spirit, or through it all, I've learned to trust in Jesus, because I have. So are you falling and can't get up? Trust in Jesus. Turn the author and finish of your faith. Look up. My most favorite thing to do now, Jesus, what would you do? Because I don't know. I missed this more than one trial, and recently, and some other ones, and that's what I say now. When I just become utterly feeling devastated or whatever, wherever you're at, many of y'all are in some, I, there's one guy, a friend of mine now on Facebook, man, the dude is a very good guy. Good heart, I can see it in him, young man. That's what's pretty awesome too. That's real awesome. Seems like he really loves his family and he's just, but the enemy is, 
man, on his butt. And sometimes on storms, man, some of the ones right now that I'm in, it's like, man, I can smell the hair on the back of my neck burning. And it stinks and hurts. Even if I did cause it, even if I was the main culprit, even if it was me, maybe that even hurts more. And then see other people that are hurt. And then plus some of the stuff that other people have done, they don't even think is they think is irrelevant. <clears throat> but it's hurting people. So I guess that's maybe, I don't know, I don't want to get in a soapbox. But anyhow, that's the watchman in me too. <clears throat> and the watchman in me is crying foul, guys. Warning, storm coming. Turn, but who do we turn to? What do we do? We fall on our knees in prayer and supplication. Be anxious for nothing, but in prayer and supplication, bring all things to him. And the peace that passes all understanding, he'll give us the peace that passes all understanding, but what does it say after that? To guard our hearts and our minds. The enemy's trying to beat crap out of us, honestly, <clears throat> with this fall, and give us an F, you know, look, you got an F, you can't go back to school, you'll never, you can't go to God, you dirty, rotten, scoundrel sinner that just pooped on the floor, I got a dog that did that for years, we still love her, we loved her through it, and now she doesn't, didn't always love her though, and it, man, because it was aggravating, very aggravating, really writing to my wife but read that story that I put out there precious come home but anyhow he wants us to fall so we can learn to trust him and believe him lean on him not our own understanding because if we prop ourselves up this message is for all, guys. And guess what? All means me, too. I don't get a free pass. I don't get to... This is not, not Monopoly game. I don't get to pass go and collect 200 bucks and you guys are stuck on railroad when I'm on Park Place. You all know the game. Many of y'all played it. I am going to end with this. Sometimes it hurts, guys, when we fall and come short. Long story short, running from the Lord, backslidden out of the church, flying home to smoke pot on the motorcycle, I had a bad wreck, tore up my leg really bad, go to the doctor, about a month, a hole in my ankle about the size of a 50 cent piece, guy, it was deep too, real deep, because that had got seared and opened up. Well, this lady would come in. She kind of looked like Herman Munster, honestly. This nurse, and she had this, it was like a really hard, hard nylon brush. Call it debriefing, debriefing, or I don't know the technical term. If y'all are in that field, it's D something. But it's basically taking all, all dead skin off. And man, she'd scrub. I don't even think they gave me any anesthesia. Stupid me. Two days later, after it first started, I go out and I'm I'm young, I'm 19, 20 years old, I'm framing houses. Well, it's hot here in Texas. I had shorts on, sweating like a pig and working like a pig too, but sweating a lot. But I'm framing houses, so it's hard work. A lot of sweat. Oh, where, where did it all pour down? All down my all down through my whole body, down into my legs, into my ankle. So of course gangrene set in. Stupid, the insurance company was gonna pay for my time off. But I was ignorant and running from the Lord. And a month went by and they'd scrub and scrape and I'd go in and I was going in once, twice a week sometimes. Hurt. Finally the doctor looked at me with this, hey, it's not really getting better. Kind of a somber look. I'm like, finally he gets to the just of the point like so. Okay, well, if it doesn't, if we can't stop this gangrene, 
We're going to have to think of other alternatives. Okay. Already not sounding good. What's the other alternative? Cut your leg off. Talk about go home and have a prayer meeting, guys. God, if you just heal my leg, I'll come back and serve you. Kind of, you know, bartering system, honestly. But God still honored that, even though it was me and ignorant and fleshly and young, young and in the Lord. And it did bring me back, though. That's even a whole nother story. But I had to fall for him to reach me. Hard headed. So anyhow, he wants us to fall because he wants us to be saved and set free and cleaned up and pure and right without spot, blemish, or wrinkle. Even if you didn't create it, guys. It's all onto something. To make you stronger and closer to him. I will end with this, I promise. I'm sorry, I don't try to mean it. I told you earlier about falling. It was a stroke, and it, long story short, but it had taken that part of my brain that your balance was. That's why I went to the doctor. Guys, I would literally be walking on my bed. My bed happened a dozen times. It happened a lot. But I'd be walking along, walking along, guys. Not even, sometimes not even thinking about nothing or what I'm doing or, you know, just where I'm going. I mean, my brain was somewhere else, you know, because I'm already, like, planning or doing or getting ready to go somewhere or whatever. But not thinking about falling. I'd get no warning, no nerve pain shooting through my leg, no muscle spasm, no nothing, no nothing. Zippo. That step wouldn't exist, the next step wouldn't exist, and I'd hit the ground full throttle. Not a big guy, but still hurt, guys. A little apprehension, I wasn't really fear, but it was like, man, what if this happens in public? It's gonna be very embarrassing. What if it happens on the steps and I bust my head? What if it happened, I, I park on the street and there, there's just enough room for one car to get down there because of the neighbors parked there too. So it's like, what if that happens in front of a car when I'm getting in my car? It hadn't happened in four or five months, four, at least four months now. The Lord's already starting to heal. I could see it. The doctor said, no, report's bad, horrible. There's more to it than that. Just watch my other videos, broken and contrite spirit. Or through it all, I've learned to trust in Jesus. But it became a message, guys. Those falls were, God used them. Now it's a message. I've used it at the homeless shelter. I've used it with a lot of other places. I'm sitting in my prayer chair, long, long journey on this, more than one day, but singing this song. Through it all, I learned to trust in Jesus. I've learned to trust in God. <clears throat> kind of crying out to him a little bit too, guys, because I was like, probably not preacher friendly. I don't, you know, I don't, Honestly, I don't I care, but it's me. God, this sucks on this hand. But on this hand, my heart and what he showed me, and I got so much closer to him that I literally did learn to trust in Jesus through it all. And guys, this is the point. I literally learned to trust in Jesus for every single step I took. I did not have any kind of nothing, no guarantee, nothing, not from God or not, nothing, not from my physical body. It just wasn't there at those times. I had to learn to trust in Jesus. That sucks.
Sorry guys, some stupid pop-up from some old security system. <clears throat> um, so, through it all, I've learned to trust in Jesus. So, well, guys, take it as a blessing, not as a, not as a, a curse, not as a punishment from God, but a, hey God, where are you in all this? We all have them in different areas. Most of us will see that. Some of us, the pride stuck in the way and we're like so far along and it's like, man. Matthew 20, guys, just to end with that, okay? So I love you guys. Just read Matthew 20 nothing to do with fall, but it has everything to do with kind of where you're at with God. Love you guys.